Let's go woke fishing with bearing. I'm sure this is going to be fine. Hi there. Today we're talking about woke fishing. Not fly fishing, not spear fishing, not cat fishing, not toad fishing. Y you might not get that if you're not Australian. We're talking about woke fishing. What is woke fishing, you ask? I wouldn't have a fucking clue, but we'll find out together. And I've got a hunch it's going to be pretty fucking funny. So stick around. Here's a quick sponsor. Here's a quick sponsor. Gotta have your virtual shield. Gotta have it. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Bering. You may have noticed. He's kind of an idiot. Have you been woke fished while dating? Here's how to tell. When I was about 17, I decided to go vegan. I was trying a lot of things at the time, including getting my nose pierced, which I considered a serious act of rebellion. Anyway, I mentioned my new veganism to the guy I was seeing at the time, and to my surprise, he seemed really annoyed. He responded with an uninterruptible lecture on the importance of supporting British farmers. I can still remember one of his appalled patronising texts. Oh God, you're not going to become one of those vegan feminists are you? Wow. I was confused. He hadn't come across like someone who hated vegan feminists. So where had this come from? Uh, I'm pretty sure everyone hates vegan feminists except for other vegan feminists. I ended things a little while later, which prompted a barrage of texts from him with a lot of derogatory language. <laughs> it confirmed what I'd begun to suspect. As much as he'd reeled me in with an outwardly woke persona, in reality, we were never going to see eye to eye. I had been woke fished. Interesting. Hmm. I think uh, I think there's definitely I don't know if I'd call it woke fishing, but um, there's definitely um, an aspect of of conservative guys are having a really hard well conservative people in general are having a really hard time getting dates because people don't fucking like them. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> Uh. Woke fishing, put simply, is when people masquerade as holding progressive political views to ensnare potential partners. A woke fish may at first present themselves as a protest attending, sex positive, anti racist, intersectional feminist who drinks ethically sourced oat milk <laughs> <laughs> and has read the back catalogue of Audrey Lord, whoever the fuck that is, twice. This is a joke, and I don't think, I don't think, um, so this part, like, is clearly like a joke like lefties would get this joke but because he's not that he doesn't understand what he's reading and he thinks this lady is being like super serious right now isn't that weird by the way oat milk is pretty delicious i will say all of these things are based i don't know who i don't know who this is does anyone know who this is i don't read i don't read theory chat i don't know if she does theory i have no idea who she is do you know who is it? You don't like oat milk? Oh no! Well, now you can't be a uh, leftist. That's what I. Yep. She's a poet and other stuff. Oh. Well, as we all know, poetry is it gives you the big gay, so we can't like that. But in reality, they don't give a shit. Or as is often the case, they are actively the opposite in their personal lives. It's sort of like catfishing, but specifically with political beliefs. A lot of us have been woke fished, maybe more so now than ever. Crises such as the tragic murder of George Floyd and the coronavirus pandemic have thrown societal injustices into an even sharper relief over the past few months. And as a result, there's been much greater emphasis on individual agency when it comes to the urgent dismantling of oppressive systems. Mm -hmm. It's no surprise that singles are now consciously choosing partners who are on the same wavelength as them. Yeah. Just as it's no surprise that others are adapting to circumvent this. Tom yeah. Is his whole thing he's just going to read this? Like, he hasn't really offered any... Anything. Is this his... Huh. This guy's got a really fucking easy job. First my chicken nugs, now my poetry. Well... I mean, I guess it's confirmed BK Chicky Nugs make you, make you big gay. That's a fact. That is a fact. Tom, 23, is from Bristol and has a lot to say about being woke fished. I remember on my first date with this guy, we spoke about... Mm, a gay voice. Nice.
racism in the UK. Over the coming weeks, we spoke a lot about diversifying the curriculum and issues surrounding the monarchy. It was all great, but then we passed the honeymoon phase and oh boy, did this guy turn out to be something else, he says. The guy Tom was seeing was definitely not putting his words into practice. As much as he would talk about being progressive, he would laugh at racial slurs. It was like he used being a social justice warrior as a personality trait, but did the exact opposite. How's this funny? People watch this and like it. Although his views are tragic. Like, they just keep getting worse, but... Like, no one no one gives a shit. Uh-oh. Wow. A lot of anti-George Floyd in there. Okay, so woke fishing is basically the practice of telling someone porky pies in order to get pussy or ass or, you know, whatever you're into. Which is nothing new. Dudes have been doing that since time began. Except with woke fishing, the person being misled is specifically an insufferable woke fuckhead. You know. Okay. Do we not see an ethical issue with that? Is there not an ethical issue with, like, lying to somebody to get fucked? Anybody? I don't know. I find that a little ethically iffy. <laughs> I'm just speaking for myself here. Can't join the Discord? Uh, someone can figure it out. Like most vegan feminists. Now, after said pussy or ass has been obtained, I don't know why you'd try to form a relationship with them. I mean, imagine trying to put up with a woke partner if you yourself are not woke. What a fucking nightmare. Now, I've come to find out there's actually a lot more newfangled dating terms I've never heard of. Okay. Let's get ourselves enlightened, shall we? All right. Blue stalling is when two people are dating and acting like a couple, but one person in the partnership states they're unready for any sort of label or commitment. Despite acting in a different manner. Okay. Br that's not what. That's pretty. That's pretty normal thing. Commitment issues, especially with younger people. Breadcrumbing is leaving breadcrumbs of interest, random non-committal messages, and notifications that seem to lead on forever. Incel shit right here. But don't actually end up taking you anywhere worthwhile. Breadcrumbing is all about pick, picking, pickwing. Wow. The dude is illiterate. Peaking, peak, is that peak, peaking peak, someone's interest? Peak, peaking. Without the payoff of a date or relationship. So it's dick teasing, basically. We already had a word for that. These are incel as fuck, my guys. Clearing. Clearing season happens in January. It's when we're so miserable thanks to Christmas being over, the cold weather and general seasonal dreariness that we'll hook up with anyone just so we don't feel completely unattractive. You might bang an ex or give that guy who you don't really fancy a chance or put up with truly awful sex just so you can feel human touch. It's a tough time. Stay strong. I mean... Wow. Antipodian squid. No wonder he has no clue on poets and poetry. Hey guys, if you wanna fuck, just fuck, man. If you don't, don't fuck. That's it. That's the whole thing. I mean, isn't that just being called a sluzzer? A sluzlet? A slut? I don't know, moving on. Clout lighting is the combo of gaslighting and chasing social media clout. Someone will bait the person they're dating on camera with the intention of getting them upset or angry or making them look stupid, then share the video for everyone to laugh at. This is fucked up and you shouldn't do it to people. Well, shoot, I hit the enter button too early with the cheer message, but here's 100 anyway. Hey, thank you. I appreciate it. I want to, but nobody wants to do me. Oh. Oh, that's a little bit mean, isn't it? Cockfishing. Cockfishing is my favorite one so far. Also known as cat cocking. When someone sending dick pics uses photo editing software or other methods to change the look of their penis, usually making it look bigger than it really is. Wow. 
I want to know, is there such a thing called cunt fishing or cat cunting? Cat cunting. <laughs> like where some bird takes a photo of a vagina for someone and, and puts it into Photoshop and edits out some of the wrinkles. You know, just tuck some of that skin back in there. <laughs> cunt fishing. Oh, I bet it's a thing. They just don't want to say it. Kit This guy's so fucking weird, man. Why is he such a ch I don't know, man. He's just so weird. Aren't vaginas gross? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can't believe you used to watch this guy. fishing using images of you but are flattering to a point that might be a bit deceptive wow. so using really old or heavily edited photos for example kitten fishers can also wildly exaggerate their height age interests and accomplishments kitten fishing it's like not full-blown cat fishing because you have a nice photo would they consider this is incel shit again i feel like this is just like like models that have like air airbrush you know what i mean Seems pretty weird to be, like, upset that people would use, like, Instagram filters. Preating. Pre-cheating. Laying the groundwork for putting out- Literally never heard of someone sending a vag pic? You can't all be... as steeped in the game as me, okay? My game is ridiculous. Alright? I've been giving a vag or two in my time, alright? feelers for cheating by sending flirty messages or getting closer to a work crush are bombing not responding to your messages but reading them all so you see the delivered and read signs are bombing <laughs> and feel like throwing your phone across the room yeah i fucking hate that i fucking hate it when people do that answer your messages cunt Although I do it to people sometimes when I want to piss them off, I'll admit that. Scrooging is dumping someone right before Christmas so you don't have to buy them a present. <laughs> what a fucking... Oh. <laughs> okay. okay. Shadowing. Posing with a hot friend in all your dating app photos, knowing people will assume you're the attractive one and will be too polite to ask. You know... Wow. Is that a thing, chat? This, again, these all sound like... like he got them from, like, incel forums. What's the point of his video? He couldn't even make it to 10 minutes, so I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not even content. I agree, it's not content. I don't know. I've never used a it's dating app. E even watching this is barely content, and I'm sad. I've never had to, I mean, I'm not saying I'm really hot, I'm saying I'm too fucking old and I've, I've had like a, a partner since fucking 1963. But I feel like I would not be too polite to ask. I feel like I would ask, are you the, are you the hot one or are you the, the fugly one? You know what I mean? I don't know. Sneeting and stashing. Sneeting is when you go on dates just for the free meal. Stashing is the act of hiding someone you're dating from your friends, family, and social media. Yeah, probably because you were too fucking polite to ask if they are the hot one in the photo and you got the fugly one. Fucking idiot. Fugly. Amazing. Let's just be up front. Submarining and V-lationshipping. When someone ghosts, then suddenly returns and acts like nothing happened. Okay. V-lationshipping is when someone you used to date reappears just around Valentine's Day, usually out of loneliness and desperation. Well, I hope they bought a fucking present. Well, that was enlightening. Now, there's plenty more of these in the article that I've linked down below. But that's about all from me today. I will catch you later. Bye. This is... Does he, how often does he put out a video? What the fuck is this? Like two a week? I mean, my thoughts on Bubba Wallace. Uh oh. If he's using a JPG rant sona, why doesn't he add some mouth moment? Like swapping between <laughs> different mouths phonics to at least make it look like his character is more than a. Lifeless husk. Seriously, it looks like something that gained sentience and loss. Oh. 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 
I understand one thing about this person. That is why he chooses not to show his face. <laughs> yeah. Bearing is not the uh, 